Do you game on aging hardware? And are you willing to try anything to get a little bit of extra performance? Well, today I'm having a look at driver controlled load bias in the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro, the setting that I'm gonna be testing today is um, driver controlled load bias. So it is a setting in the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So let me just get to that quickly. Uh, NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Uh, this was a video that somebody requested from me about a month or two ago. I just completely forgot and I thought today is as good day as any. So it's this setting over here. Texture filtering, driver controlled load bias. So the options that you do have is it's going to be on by default. You can switch it off. I did test on and off. And then um, generally by default, texture faulting load bias in brackets DX, which is for DirectX, um, is set to 000. So the settings I tested because when you increase in numbers, the background blurs a little bit. So you technically should get more performance. It's not like that for each setting. Um, but I tested 000 plus 1250 plus 2500 and plus 3750 so let me just get to my results but before I do get to my results if you are subscribed to the channel please just make certain that you have the notification icon selected over here so that when I do drop a new video you are notified instantaneously and then for those of you that are not subscribed to my channel if you find this video helpful or you enjoy the or enjoy this type of content please consider subscribing by the end of the video and then naturally selecting that little notification icon. Um, and then just furthermore, if you are interested um, in under, if you got a lock bias and you can't undervolt your laptop, I've got a couple of videos here on how to unlock undervolting so you can get lower temperatures on your laptop. But uh, there's, yeah, there's tutorials on throttle stop, MSR afterburner, you name it, go wild with performance optimizations. So guys, um, this is gonna be my benchmark that I went through, but before I get to that, so I did mention earlier, um, I'll put this in the description of the video as well, it's quite a cool site. It just gives you all the, the it basically gives you a breakdown of all the settings in NVIDIA Profile Inspector, uh, or the old name is NVIDIA Inspector, um, but, and you can go through this it's quite an interesting read especially if you want to know what each little setting does because somebody asked me to do a test on something i had no idea so before i could actually make this video i had to find out or start my benchmarks i had to find out exactly what i was doing so load bias reduces the quality of textures as distance grows from the viewpoint to those textures so basically if you're going to lower this value it's going to increase the distant feature detail. So this technically should load a, a lower performance. But if you increase the load bias, this should increase performance. So that's exactly what I'm going to be testing today. But uh, so I'm not quoting this verbatim. You can go through this if you want at a later stage. Let me get to my results. So obviously, as mentioned, I'm testing driver controlled load bias in the NVIDIA Profile Inspector and I tested with driver controlled load bias off, on and then plus 1250 plus 2500 plus 3750. So before I get to my results, all my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of Starfield on low. This is on a mix, a Resident Evil 4 Remax on a mixture of medium, high and low. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy is on medium, God of War is on medium, Dead Space Remake is on low, Red Dead Redemption on medium, Remnant on low, Horizon Zero Dawn is on medium, Cyberpunk is on medium, and then The Witcher 3 is on medium. Just bear in mind, this is not the latest update 2.0, this is, I think it's the update 1.63. Still downloading that for later. So, um, and then all these uh, games, was, uh, FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was set to quality. Um, just for uh, 
greater accuracy of my benchmarks and because I generally do prefer playing single player games you'll notice all my games are tested with single player I am testing on a GTX 1650 laptop bear in mind that if you have a more powerful RTX card all of these settings are going to have, have less and less uh, 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 it's going to affect less and less change the more powerful your uh, your cpu and your gpu and then i did my testing on the latest nvidia driver 537.34 so guys um when i put driver controlled load bias off when i add up all my average fps i get over 10 games my average fps is 603 when i add up all my one percent lows my total is 441 when I put uh, driver control load bias on, which it is by default, when I add up all the average FPSs, I get to a total amount of 590, 598, excuse me. And then once I add up all the 1% lows, I get to a total 1% low of 441. So this was just merely switching it off, and this was just putting it back onto the, the default state that it is. But remember, in that description that we just read here, when you increase the number, it makes the uh, it increases the load balance or the load bias, but uh, it becomes increasingly blurry. And the thought is that you would increase your performance at some slight visual fidelity decreasing. However, when I increased it to uh, plus one two five zero. As you can see, I actually got a bit of a decrease in performance. Uh, when I add up all the average FPSs, I get 602. When I add up all the 1% lows, my 1% um, my lows are 435. So default, it's 598 for the average FPS and for the 1% lows is 441. But at, when I increase the load bias a little bit by the first setting, I actually get lower 1% lows. However, once I increase the load bias to plus 2.55 or 2.500, you'll see that my average FPS actually increases, and I can't really see much of a degradation on screen, but I get a total of 606 average FPS, and when I add up all my 1% lows, more 1% lows add up to 446. And just bear in mind, guys. Technically, it, uh, you're supposed to see a degradation on screen. I didn't see any, but my 1% lows get quite a bit higher. And then I, on the third setting, um, where I add plus 3.750 load bias, when I add up all my average FPSs, I get to a total amount of 605. And then when I add up all my 1% lows, you can see that my 1% lows go up to 449. So, yeah, guys, not much to read into that. I did do this video for somebody that specifically asked for driver controlled load bias. But if you want my recommendation, especially if you are gaming on aged hardware, what you do is I'd actually recommend not really setting load bias to anything above a plus 3750. So what you would do, and I'll put a link to where you can download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. But, uh, so just download NVIDIA Profile Inspector and then it would be the setting over here. Under Texture Filtering, it's Texture Filtering Driver Controlled Load Bias, obviously on. And then the setting where I got the most performance was actually, it starts at plus zero, zero, zero. Uh, the first setting did improve performance, the second uh, setting did improve performance a little bit and then the third setting is actually the setting where I get the most performance. But guys, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And guys, for those of you that aren't subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. Thank you so much for watching. It's people like you. Have a good evening. Cheers.